What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Jess. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I thought I would do a nail video. If you follow my Instagram or my TikTok, I've done a few reels dedicated to me doing nail art. Follow me there at Lifestyle Jessica and check those out if you want a short form video of me doing some nail art. But I would just do a whole dedicated YouTube video on how I paint my nails using the paint pens. I'm just trying to do some like fun spring nails. I have natural nails. They're honestly pretty short. I already prepped my nails for the manicure. So basically, I just take cuticle away, just remove any of the dead cuticles skin. After I remove the dead cuticle skin, I'll just usually take a file. I don't usually even have to cut my nails, honestly, because I do file them pretty often. I usually do more of a square shape. But right now, my nails are pretty short, so I don't have much to work with, honestly. I am trying to grow my nails out, so I've been applying just some regular cuticle oil I got at the drugstore. I'm just trying to moisturize, of course. So these are the acrylic paint pens that I recently purchased off of Amazon. It's a 15 pack and they are the extra fine tip. They do have a fine tip as well as a medium tip that I might consider buying as well. But for now, I have the extra fine tip and I feel like it works pretty good. I feel like it came with a pretty good color selection. It has some pastel type of colors and then some brighter ones, white and black. Yeah, I've used a few of these already and I haven't had a problem with them. Typically I go in with the Orly Bonder Rubberized Base Coat, but today I'm actually gonna be going in with the Orly Nail Defense Strengthening Protein Treatment. I just picked this up at Harmon yesterday and I wanna give this a try as a base coat because my nails are definitely peeling or splitting a tiny bit. Like I said, I am trying to grow them out. I think this might be a better option for me for a base coat. I'm just gonna let my base coat dry for a few minutes before I go in with the color. This is the recent selection of nail polish that I've purchased. Most of these are from the brand Essie and the Essie Gel Couture line in specific. I do feel like these colors last a little bit longer than regular nail polish and they're pretty good. I do have a few regular Essie nail polishes as well. For my base color, I'm gonna go in with Bikini So Teeny from Essie. This is just one of the regular nail polishes. If I get any nail polish on my skin at the end, I'll probably just take a little pointed Q-tip and some nail polish remover and just clean it up. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I'm just gonna let this coat fully dry and then I'm gonna go in with a second coat. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but this color does have a really small amount of shimmer to it, which looks pretty nice. And I would say for one coat, it does go on pretty good. Definitely need to go in with at least two coats of this though, as you can see. I think a lot of times when I used to do nails, I would rush and I would not give my coats time to dry and it would always get way too thick and gloppy and then I would just smudge it. Even though it takes a lot of patience, I really think it saves me time in the long run, just making sure that each coat is dry. I'm gonna paint my opposite hand now, which is always a struggle. I think the key to painting your opposite hand is to just go super slow. Also, I know if I get nail polish on my skin, I can just clean it up afterwards with some nail polish remover. I'll let these dry for probably 30 plus minutes before I go in and do any nail art because that's when I realized I would start like smudging it or it would get messed up and then I'd have to start all over again. I'm just practicing some little nail art with the pens before I go in. When you first get them, you're just gonna have to shake them and pump them until the paint starts coming out and then it's so easy. Like I feel like it just comes out so smoothly. So I've given my nails a pretty good amount of time to dry, 20 to 30 minutes about. I know that they're good because I could push down on them with a decent amount of pressure and they're not budging. 
I'm gonna go in with my Artistro paint pen in the extra fine point. Now that I have my nail art done on this hand, I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit while I paint this hand. I'll take some nail tees and some nail polish remover and just clean up around the edges. Obviously I got some on my skin, but it's really not a big deal because it's really easy to just clean it up. I'm gonna take my nail tee and just clean up anything I caught on the skin. I'm gonna take my Essie Top Coat, this is also from the Gel Couture line, and just finish off my nails. So I just finished the nails. Honestly, they're not too bad. I do recommend those Artistro paint pens. I do think some of these designs would probably be easier if I had the fine or the medium tip pen because with the extra fine, it could definitely be a little harder to make like a larger circle for the flower. I did have to like do a lot of dotting. Overall, I'm pretty happy how they came out. Like I said, I'm definitely not a professional, but this is just how I paint my nails at home. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe for more. I know this is a little bit different. I do like to do my nails for my Instagram reels and my TikTok. So follow me there at Lifestyle Jessica if you guys want more short videos on just me painting my nails and doing some nail art. Subscribe for some vlogs, maybe some more nail videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one.